guys, so I'm back with a Project No Buy update. I started out a Project No Buy at the beginning of 2017, and if you don't know what a No Buy is, it's when you promise yourself that you're not going to buy any products over a certain length of time, and you're going to work on what you do actually have. And so I started out the year with 99 products. I have since finished up 18, I believe, if my math is correct. My goal was to um, end the year with 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what remains because some of the products I finished up and I've already showed you in previous updates. I'll link down below the, the previous videos in this series that I did. I think this is my second update, so my third video of this year. But I'm going to go category by category. I'm going to line up what I do have remaining and then I'll tell you the stats and stuff like that. So this is my fragrance category. I started with these five and I still have five left. Fragrance has um, traditionally been the most difficult category for me to use up. I have three Bath & Body Works sprays. Marc Jacobs is not wanting to be in this lineup next to Justin Bieber and Bath & Body Works. Um, I don't really blame him. I have the Cashmere Glow, which is about a quarter used up. So I was using the Cashmere Glow starting from last fall, but the scent is a little bit too heavy slash sweet for me right now, so I've switched to the White Teen Dijon, which I love this scent. I'm about a sixth done. I don't know. What do you think? And then I have this Snow Kissed Sugar. I haven't used this at all. I think it's going to be a little bit too sweet for me, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to use it. And I do tend to wear like more musky sweet scents when it's cooler because I feel like it's a little nauseating for me to use during the spring and summer months. This is a Marc Jacobs Rollerball perfume. I typically reach for these when I'm traveling and things like that, but as you can see, I've used very little of it. My ultimate all-time perfume was the Marc Jacobs Essence. It was like a creamy yellow color. They discontinued that quite a few years ago. This is pretty similar, but that one was a little bit more creamy um, and subtle. This is a little bit sharper, so I don't love this nearly as much, unfortunately, which is why I'm not really going through it that quickly. And the other scent here is, like I said, Justin Bieber. It's like a perfumey laundry kind of smell. Five out of five are it's still here, so I haven't finished any of them. And honestly, I don't foresee myself finishing any of these by the end of the year. Maybe this one, but I think this is probably... I've used quite a bit of this actually, but it's very strong, so I only need like one spritz of this. I'm gonna clear it off and move on to the next category. Okay, so the next category is bases or foundations. I had three and I still have three. I don't wear foundation or BB cream on a daily basis. I have sort of used, been using the BB creams as in the place of concealer, like especially around my nose area and some of the like the hyperpigmentation I have left from some pimples. I'm currently working on this one. Uh, I got these two together in a sale. They're both Physicians Formula. This is the Organic Wear 100% Natural Origin Work It Marathonista Tinted Moisturizer SPF 40 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen in the color light. And then this is a Super Baby Insta Ready um, Beauty Bomb BB Cream SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen Light. Um, I did a review first impressions on this, so I'll link that down below. I tend to use this one in the drier months because I find that this is dries less matte than this one does. I probably honestly have only used like this much because I use it so sparingly. Um, I I'm gonna try to finish one of these three by the end of the year. And this is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation in True Ivory SPF 15. I actually feel like it's oxidizing. I have never used this. Whoa, I'm pretty sure it's oxidizing. Do you see that? That corner there is like much lighter than the rest. And then it kind of goes from really light here to like lighter down here. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. Well, I've never used it. <laughs> um, I bought it because I was making an order from ASOS and I saw this and I had wanted to try it. And I figured that was the only opportunity for me to be able to try this. But I've been working on the other two and um, foundation for me, I'm, I hardly ever wear foundation. For me, it's like for really special occasions. So I hope to be done with one of these three, probably this one, by the end of the year. But these are my lip products. I started out the year with 11 of them and I currently have 10. I finished the um, CoverGirl Lip Slicks in the color Daring. I still have 10 left. I have the Bonnie Bell Lip Definer in Chutney, the Makeup Forever Lab Shine Diamond Collection Gloss in D. 
14. This is a Clinique Double Duo Chubby Stick in the colors Grapevine and Vanilla Brownie. Haven't even started using that yet. I've been using this one. This is the Sephora Oil Infusion Color and Care um, Lip Gloss, basically, in Bubbly Grenadine. I like the formula, and I think they're trying to phase it out. So they're only like $7 on the Sephora website right now. And I thought about buying more, but then I remembered all of this. So I haven't done that. I have three of these Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. Uh, this is in Rendezvous, which is a bright orange color. It's, it's totally not focusing. There you go, I think. This is Romantic. Just a nice red color. I really love these colors. I feel like for me, they're a little bit darker than my lips are better, so... And then um, a bright pink. This is called Sweetheart Valentine. And I have three lipsticks. This is the Maybelline, um, I don't know, the Nudes line in Stormy Sahara. It's sort of got a little bit of a peachy um, undertone to it. The L'Oreal Color Riche in a Ferris Nude. This is a very popular color. This one really does go quite well. It's more of a blue toned pink nude. And then this one I've had for years. They don't even make this color anymore, but it's the L'Oreal Color Riche in Earth Rose. Um, it's actually quite dark for um, what I typically wear on my lips. It's a, I don't know, it's sort of a reddish nude color. So I don't really use this on my lips anymore. Now I use this as a blush. So this is a really good all-in-one stick when I travel. I love that. So I started out with 11. I finished one and I have 10 left. The one is on the floor right now. And now I have my concealers. I started out with five, but then I returned one, which was the Maybelline Fit Me, which is, this is my old one of that. And then I didn't finish one, but I gave up on it. It was the um, Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller. I just had been working on that one for so many years. If you've been with me, you'll know that. So anyway, that one was tossed and I have three remaining. This one is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect Concealer. I mean, if you watch YouTube and you watch English YouTubers, you'll know about this product. I wouldn't say I'm half done with it, but it always feels like it's coming up dry. I don't use this that often. It really picks up very little product when you dip it, so that makes me think I'm almost out, but I didn't really use it that much, so it's probably just the applicator. This is the Pixie Correction Concentrate in Brightening Peach. I did a first impressions comparing this to um, the Bobbi Brown um, corrector, and I'll link that video down below. I did stop using it for a while when I was using the Garnier one, but I still have about half the pot left. It takes so long to finish up for me. I use it every day, too. And then this is the Maybelline Fit Me. I've had this for so long, I should throw it out. So, you know, it's up to here. I don't like the ingredients in it. It contains parabens. Okay, next up ooh, are my eyeliners. I started the year out with seven of them, and now I have six. I didn't quite finish up that last one, but um, it just got to be too much. I couldn't find a way to wear it so that it stayed on my skin all day. So I decided to just get rid of it. I have a feeling I'm going to come across that problem quite a bit with the rest of these eyeliners. So we'll go through them one by one, I'll go through them one by one and then figure out whether they work for me or not. Which I don't wear eyeliner on a regular basis because I have so much trouble getting it to stay put. These are the ones I do still have. The Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. This is my holy grail eyeliner. This stays when no one else does. This is the... NYX Retractable Eyeliner in white. This is just for, you know. I have two of these Avon um, Ultra Luxury Eyeliners and I have them in Eggplant and Charcoal. I think these two never really work for me. They always smudge, so they probably will be going in the trash sooner or later. This is the Sephora Nano Eyeliner in Gold. Pearl Beige. Beige. This is the oldest one of this bunch. Benefit Bad Gal Eyeliner. I really like this for, um, you know, a dramatic look. And this, this, I don't know, I wouldn't say that this stays better, but I think because it's so thick and so bold, it doesn't really matter if it smudges, you know? I started with seven, still have six, probably will end the year with like four. I'll probably buy another one of this Physicians Formula one, and then of course this is very useful, the white one. Um, and this I will always keep. These are my hair treatments, um, stylers, etc. 
I started with five. Um, the one that I finished up was the Garnier like primer style extender. It was the heat protectant. Finished that one up. Um, it's been replaced. Oh, by the way, I don't know why I didn't mention this earlier, but I have broken my nut. No, buy. I'm not gonna introduce the new products in every video because I feel like it would make the video really, really long. So when I do my final video of the year, I'm gonna do a tally of how many I finished up and then how many I bought and then maybe I'll show you the new products then that I bought to replace some of these products. Okay, so this is the Herbal Essences Naked Dry Shampoo. I'm nearly done with this and I've pretty much decided that I probably won't buy a dry shampoo to replace this because I don't really like the feeling of dry shampoo. So maybe I'll buy a travel size one for like emergencies. This is the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Rock and Sh Sleek Oil Treatment. This was in my project pan from last year, probably the year before, so I have all these like marks um, from you know where I started and stuff but if you can see I really don't have that much more I, I use this much so I have about a third a little bit less than a third of the bottle left I am pretty confident that I can finish this this year I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish these two these two I'm not so sure about it's the bubble and bubble grooming cream it's about half full and I don't foresee myself using this before the end of the year. And then this is a fairly new product. This is a Tresemme Perfectly Undone um, Sea Salt Spray. I do have naturally wavy hair, but I guess it's not wavy enough because it doesn't really do anything for my hair. Um, I've used like this much, but yeah, this is one of those products I'm gonna buy one of for like my entire lifetime. I started out with five, I have four right now. Next up are my facial oils and serums. I have six here. Um, I started out with six. I have the Physicians Formula Argan Oil. I have about 40% left, 33%. I'm mostly using this in my hair right now. And I'm finding that's really taming the frizz. This is the Josie Marin 100% uh, Pure Argan Oil that I got in a um, starter kit thingies that came with three travel size versions of their products um, so I can link that down below because I also did a review on that. I love the size of the bottle so if I ever have to travel and want to bring some argan oil along this will be the thing. Um, I probably will finish this one and the vintage formula this year though. Next up is the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I got this also in the Sephora Beauty Sleep Kit for a favorites beauty sleep kit of 2015. I'm half done with it right now. This is a retinol kind of um, oil. This is the Life Flow Pure Rose Hip Seed Oil. I've bought so many bottles of this already. Um, I have stopped using it temporarily because it, it was starting to give me, it was a little bit too rich for my skin. I'm using some new stuff that has similar effects, so I might not go back to that. This is the Olivia Care 100% Natural Rose Hip Oil Face Serum. This is a combination of sweet almond oil and rosehip seed oil. This is lighter, certainly, than the uh, Life Flow one because it's mixed with the sweet almond oil. I'm like half done with this, more than half done with this. This is the thing I think will replace rosehip seed oil for me. This is the Drunk Elephant Sea from a Day Serum, 15% um, L-asorbic acid, which is vitamin C, and pumpkin firm ferment extract. I had heard so many good things about Drunk Elephant, and I'm going to do a video on this um, to show you guys, but this stuff works. So I started out the year with six facial oils and serums, and I still have six. I'm probably about more than half done with this one. I'm more than half done with this. This one will not be done by the end of the year, I'm pretty sure of that. This one will be done, so I'm pretty sure this one will be done as well, and so this. So. Hopefully, I will only have one left. Okay, so let's talk face washes. I started out with four and I finished one up and that was the Innisfree Green Tea Balancing Oil Cleanser. I have three remaining and this one is a Lafia African Black Soap. It's the liquid version in Tangerine Citrus. Um, I am using this currently as a face wash. I have, I have, I've used up about this much. I'm currently using this as a face wash, but this is also a multi-purpose product all-in-one face cleanser, body wash, shampoo, and shaving. So I probably will use this as a body wash um, when I run out of my current body wash. Um, and this is the Josie Marin Argan Cleansing Oil. This is part of the kit that I was talking about earlier. And I've used this very sparingly, if you can see, only a little bit. And this is the Sunday Riley Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm. 
Okay, I haven't even opened this. This came in as a Sephora Favorites Beauty Sleep Box for this past winter, so 2016. So I'm pretty certain I'm then going to be done with these two by the end of the year. This one, if I use as a body wash, I will probably be done with as well, but I'm not sure. Started out with four, and we have three remaining. Okay, so this one's pretty good. <laughs> I only have one here. Um, I had two face scrubs to start with. I had a St. Ives pink lemon and grapefruit one, and then this little, little um, one ounce travel size St. Ives fresh skin apricot scrub. Now, I didn't finish the pink lemon and grapefruit one, but it seized up. I think it was because it was pretty old, but it just dried out and I couldn't push it out of the tube anymore. So I'm going to be using this one if it still works. I know there's a lot of controversy about um, the walnut shell, I think, in this. Yeah, the walnut shell powder and how it kind of damages your skin. But I've previously used this and I really liked it. And you know what? One ounce. I'm going to take the risk. But I will also look into other options for natural-ish um, face scrubs. So I started out with two face scrubs and I'm down to one. I'm definitely going to be done with this by the end of the year. We've come to the mascaras and there's no question that I'm going to finish both of these tiny little basically free trial ones um, by the end of the year. This is the um, Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara and this is a um, Lancome Hypnose Drama. Um, I've already opened this. I think it's pretty much at the end of its life. I started out with three. I think the other one was a Maybelline Falsies. That one's since been used up. And um, of course, I will be buying more to replace these. So um, this is basically done, and that will definitely be done by the end of the year. Another little solo artist here. This is my eyeshadow primer. Um, I started the year out with two eyeshadow primers. One was the e.l.f. and the other one was this Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. I got rid of the e.l.f. because it was drying up and this is the one that I would be using if I wore eyeliner and I've actually since bought the Urban Decay one but since we're not talking about the things that I've broken my no buy with um, this is the only one standing I'll try to use it as much as I can but I feel like this is um, 0.34 ounces it's gonna last forever it's gonna dry out before I finish using this it's not gonna be done moving on to lip balms these are the things that I tend to go through the quickest so I'm very surprised that I started out the year with three and I still have three. These two are the same, of course, they're the Nivea Milk and Honey Lip Balm, but one of them is nearly done. It's not this one. This is the one I use at home, and this is the one I carry in my bag at work. See, that one's nearly done. And then the other product is the Nukes Red De the Miel, which I bought in fall slash winter 2015-16. And there's like half of this tub left. I only use it at night when I go to sleep, but it's still half full, which is nuts and probably really unsanitary. But I'm gonna try to finish this up before the end of the year because it will be two years old at that point. But, I mean, what can I really do? It a little bit goes a long way. Started with three, still have three. I will probably end the year with one. Shampoos, um, I take a while to finish shampoos. Started out the year with five. I finished one, and I'm currently working on this one, which is the Nature's Gate Tea Tree and Sea Buckthorn. It's about um, almost half done, I would say. I mean, I'll definitely be done with this by the end of the year. So that this is the Herbal Essences Tea Light Fully Clean Refreshing Shampoo. Once in a while, you just kind of need a sulfate shampoo to really get the gunk and the wax out and stuff like that. This may or may not be done at the end of the year. I'm gonna lean towards not being done. This is the Jason. <laughs> it's got stickers all over it. Jason Moisturizing 84% Aloe Vera Shampoo. I bought this multiple times. I'm pretty sure I'll be done with that. And then this is the Body Shop Ginger Scalp Care Shampoo. I've been using this like, I alternate this shampoo with the Tea Tree Shampoo right now. This does have sulfates in it. I'm like nearly half done with this. So pretty sure I'll be done with this by the end of the year. So I started with five and have four right now. And I will probably end the year with one of these left. Uh, this is my conditioner collection, guys. <laughs> actually miscounted because when I just pulled these up, I realized I thought I only had two of these conditioners. But I, I think I had then um, six conditioners. I finished one and I have five remaining. Um, this is the one I'm currently working on. It's the match to the Nature's Gate Tea Tree and Seek Buckthorn shampoo. This is the conditioner version. This will be done. It's already more than half done. I go through conditioners faster than I go through shampoos. And then I have three of these. This is like one of my favorite conditioners, which is why I bought three of them. 
This is the Nature's Gate. It is actually different from that one. Uh, this is the Nature's Gate um, Aloe Vera and Macadamia Oil Conditioner. This is very, very hydrating for a natural conditioner. I will probably be done with like two of them, maybe one of them. And then I plan on using this one. This is a Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. This is another of my Holy Grail natural conditioners. So I will probably finish those, but not one of these. So started out the year with six, and I have five remaining. We'll probably have one remaining at the end of the year. These are my body wash and scrub products. I started with three, and I still have three, but as you can probably tell here, I'm on my way to finishing up this Bath & Body Works. Shower Gel and Peony. This is the Soap & Glory Scrub of Your Life, the travel size version. I use this like once or twice. And this is a sample that I got a long time ago from Kiehl's. Creme Decor, Soy Milk, and Honey Body Polish. So we'll be done with all three of these by the end of the year. These are the powder products. I started with four and I have two left. I finished up a um, pressed powder from Rimmel and a um, eyeshadow palette kind of trio thing. Um, really, I just dropped that one on the floor. And I dropped this on the floor too. This is the Makeup Revolution um, Vivid Baked Highlighter. This was really hyped. And the more I use it, the more I like it actually. But yeah, I dropped this on the floor, so I lost basically like almost all the product. I thought I would be definitely done with this by the end of May, but I don't think that's actually going to happen. I still have quite a bit left. And then I got this, which I haven't even really used yet. It's the Essence Contour Powder Bronzer and Highlighter. So two, I will be done with this. Not sure about this, because I don't really bronze, but I don't really know why I bought this product. Moving on to the blushes, I started with two. I still have two. This one is like, I don't even know what the phrase is, but it just won't die. I've been using this forever, and it's the tiniest little pan of blush. This will definitely be done by July. Hope, unless it's like a never-ending pot. And then I have the Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. This is a huge... I haven't even opened this, have I? Yeah, there's still a sticker on it. Um, this is huge. This will probably last me like two years. Two, and I still have two. This is uh, moisturizers, and as you can see, I have the mother load of them here. But really, the large majority of these came in... Um, this past winter's Sephora Beauty Sleep Kit. This is a Trader Joe's Nour Nourish Enriched Intensive Antioxidant Facial Moisturizer. I've been going through this a lot faster than I thought I would be. I'm almost half done with it. And it is not a small bottle, it's six ounces. Usually I can spend like a whole year using two ounces of face cream. It will most likely look like be done with this by the end of the year. This is the Ula Henriksen Invigorating Night Treatment. I'm gonna finish this this year, I don't care. Like, I will put it everywhere and just get rid of that. Um, this is the Origins High Potency Nitamins. It's only 0.5 ounces, so I will also be done. I think I'm going to be done with all of this except for maybe this. I'll be done with that as well. This is the Pharmacy Sleep Tight Firming Night Balm. I plan to use this in the summertime because I think it's kind of like a gel texture. I don't think it's that hydrating either from what I've read. This is a Carez um, Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. And I did an initial review on this line, the Wild Rose line, which I'll link down below. Um, but my opinion about that line has become more favorable over the years. This is a Caudalie Vino Perfect Overnight Renewal Cream. I think this is thicker, so I'm going to save this for winter time, but probably will be done with that as well. This is Aldenus Absolute Hydration Replenishing Sleeping Pack Splash. I think this is also lighter, so I think it might be a gel. I might use that probably during around the summertime. This is the other half of the Drunk Elephant pack that I was telling you about. This is the Bee Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. Um, basically hyaluronic acid serum. I'll talk about this more in depth when I do the Drunk Elephant video. And then this is something that my cousin gave me. I would never buy a Hello Kitty. I don't even know what this is because there's like no English on this. But I've gathered that this is like an essence. I'm not gonna finish this by the end of the year, I know that for a fact. But the rest, I'm pretty sure I will. I started out the year with 10, I finished one, and then I have probably finished these nine, and then not that one. That's a lot of skincare, but I am a skincare junkie. We're finally nearing the end here. These are my lotions and moisturizers, body moisturizers. I started the year out with four. Um, I, ha I finished the Trader Joe's Pumpkin Body Butter. I have three remaining. I have the 
Paldria, Paldria Herbs of Provence hand lotion. Uh, this is the one I'm currently using my body after a shower and it's the Trader Joe's pomegranate body butter. I did a closer look on some Trader Joe's bath and body products so I'll link that video down below that this was in it. And then I have the Walita skin food. I see myself using this later on in the year. I hope to finish this this year. Don't necessarily see that happening but I will definitely finish these two. So I started the year with four, I have three, and I think I might end the year with one of the originals. These are my SPFs. I'm all about the skincare. So I started the year out with three. Um, I had two of these. This is the Kiss My Face Face Factor with Ultra Moisturizing Hydrasia SPF 30 Broad Spectrum. This is my Holy Grail moisturizer. I'm about half done with this product, so I'll be probably done with this by the end of this month or middle of next month. And then I'll move on to this Josie Marin. This completes the trifecta of the um, Josie Marin skincare products. Um, this is the um, Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 45 with uh, Sun Boost ATB. This is the non-tinted version and it's a travel size, so I'll be using this during the summer when I do travel. I will definitely be done with both of these by the end of the year, so I started with three, I have two remaining, and I will have none remaining by the end of the year. I've got my eye creams here. This is the Innisfree Olive Real Eye Cream. Um, I got this at the end of 2015, and it's still going strong. It might take me close to the end of the year to finish this. I hope it doesn't last past that, because it'll be two years old by that point. And then I got this in the um, Sephora Beauty Sleep Kit, Origins Plant Scription and Anti-Aging Power Eye Cream. It's only 0.17 ounces. I'm not sure I'm going to be done with either of these by the end of the year, but I will try. Last but not least, the masks. I started out the year with five. The other two were Sephora Pods, um, the Sleeping Night Mask or something like that. And I have three remaining. This is a Fresh Rose Face Mask. This was, um, I got this for free in one of the Sephora kits during the holidays. Um, this is actually a lot, 0.6 ounces. It's very, it's not runny, but it's very liquidy, so um, you don't need very much. And I've been like only exclusively using it off of the lid, so it's, I've used it like three times already, which is really amazing. So I don't know how long it's going to take for me to use this up, and I think it's pretty natural, so I should probably work on that. This is the L'Oreal Pure Clay. It's a black clay one, I forget what it's called, but I'll put the name down here. Love this stuff. I am more than half done with it. I'm pretty sure I'll finish this by the end of the year. And then this one is Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. I think I have about at least two thirds of this left. Um, it's just, I don't really reach for it that much. So that will definitely remain. These two I will try to finish up by the end of the year. So hopefully of the five I started with, I only have one remaining and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe I'll do some foot masks or something. Let me know what you do with your ASIC Secret Indian Healing Clay. Those are all of my Project No Buy products that I still have left. Like I said, I started out with 99 and I've used up 18, so I have 81 left over. Let me know if you're doing a Project No Buy down below. Let me know if you have any tips on how to get rid of some of this stuff, especially this one. Otherwise, thank you for watching and for subscribing, and I will see you next time.